Hey guys, we're in 10 more minutes. I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. And today we are playing What Little Is Left of the KFC yeah, I love you Colonel Sanders dating sim. It game. better be a decent amount. I mean, I, I made a whole cup of coffee for this. This game is only like going to be like... Like you wouldn't have five more before the end of tonight. I mean, that's not not true, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, um, I'm a little worried about how short this is going to be. Yeah, well... Um, just because I clicked something... And it looks like we only have one chapter left out of ten. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh I, mean, I thought this was going to be a whole day. We've been moving in a stream a day. Yeah. Like, and now this is the third day and it's the final day. So but what it's I'm like, oh, we have one more chapter left. Is I'm I like, have oh. permission to just flummox and flub all the lines and fail as many times as I need in order to fill out at least an hour. <laughs> we, don't get, we don't get paid by the hour. We get paid by the quality. That's, that's Wait, true. You're getting paid? No. <laughs> I wish I was getting paid. Maybe someday. Uh, uh, Kaiser, thank you for gifting a sub to uh Thanks, was, that, was that burst up earlier? It, it literally while I was saying the sentence disappeared off screen. Uh and thank you for uh subbing again. That's 12 months, currently 12 month streak. Happy anniversary, Kaiza. Thank hey. you. How's everybody doing today? Speedy stream? Yeah, apologies if if this one does turn out to be a really short one. Yeah, we, we, we don't know. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Uh -huh. What up, Axel? Hey, Axel. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time on stream. Five minute stream? I hope not. When you arrive, five minutes. School. That would be uh, that'd be that'd be pretty bad. But um, narrated time, I guess. Um, when you arrive at school, you encounter your arrivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance, Bop Bop, still under cage, undercover KGB agent, uh, that they're picking on Pop. Though he himself might full, not fully grasp that. <laughs> Pop know everything. Yeah, Pop, Pop, see Pop understands. All. Pop's like, uh, you shall get yours. Pop take juicy cup and strangle. He they think this not weapon of deadly nature? <laughs> Be wrong. <laughs> I can kill you ten ways with this juice box. You see that missing button? Too bad. It was in your soup yesterday. <laughs> I it used it swimming. to kill a man. <laughs> yeah. It is swimming in your intestines. It is currently disintegrating into a viral poison that will quickly debilitate you. Yes. Ooh. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think he grass it because you know, eh, he's pop. He's pop. He's pop. He's good. What swirly? I mean, uh, swirly. It sounds delish. That's right. <laughs> oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. I'll have uh, swirly sprinkles, please. Uh, <laughs> uh sprinkles. He's a dog and a tree. <laughs> ha! Got him. I like pop. I think he might be my favorite. You can get your swirly dip too. Oh god, it's getting. It's, what's with the tongue? Ashley. Yeah. Why do you pick on someone your own size? How tall am I? Um. Am I your I mean, size? Looking at the character models, Pop might have the longest calves we've ever seen, considering he's standing next to. Uh, I can't tell if that's his What's his yeah. name? Pan Pan or whatever is. Pon Pon? Van Van. Van Van? Yeah. And uh, he's almost as tall. True. I get it. Foreground. I get the perspective. But it doesn't work with no, the joke. It, Stop explaining. It this. doesn't work because his <laughs> feet are hovering above the ground. No, so no, no. That's his, that's his knees, right? No, that's not his knees. Those are his feet. That's good. He's wear wearing shoes. softball socks. That's the very top of them. My like three feet tall. Cheapers. Because I'm literally the biggest person at school. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? Mm, Mike would. Mike would definitely do that. Ooh. You got some nerve, Mike, picking on a defenseless horse. See, I told you it was Mike's fault. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're twisting my words. I might have it. It depends. Actually, what do you have think? have that horse? Yeah, I don't want the horse. You clench your butt. You clench your fist. But the injury from yesterday's mixer accident. Oh, yeah. I stuck my hand in the mixer like a doofus. Um, makes you wince with pain. What a silly boy. Doesn't look like you're going to go to cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. You gotta return to monkey and ever. just start cooking with your feet. Forever. I'll, I'll find a way to use my other hand and my foot and my other foot. I'm sure people with one my hand tongue. can cook just fine. Mouth. I've seen people use one hand to crack an egg. Can't yeah. be that fucking hard. You're in culinary school after I'm all. I'm a genius. I can do anything I put my mind to. Especially with Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears. Things are close to a boiling point. Uh, a naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. 
you know, they're holding Pop up by his legs, you know, <laughs> they're threatening to swirly people. Holy crap, Jack just got 16 months sub. Thank hey, you, Jack. Hey, Jack. T1 sub, thank you. And that sucks. Uh, first. I'm sorry that you lost your job. That I mean, sucks, the, the store was the store was closing, right? Right. So at least, at least he didn't get fired. I mean, I know that's a shitty silver lining. Sorry, but yeah, at least on your resume and stuff for everything else, it can still look better. You know? Uh, it wasn't my fault. I wasn't yeah, mismanaged. The store was mismanaged. Yeah. I, I know that's a cheap, like, not the best thing to say to somebody who just fucking lost their job in a pandemic, but it's like, hey, at least that, it looks better than what the alternative can be, right, man? Plus, you had fun, you were hanging out with all your buddies and stuff, so, um, Colonel Sanders. <clears throat> Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Mike, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Yeah, it's feeling a little tender. <sighs> Oh, it's an issue with the landlord for the for the shop's building? Okay, you get severance. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, man. I mean, again, silver lining. Sucks you lost your job, but the situation sounds like you're more optimal than the shittiness it could be. So, good luck, dude. Um, aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday, I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Ashley does have a point. She almost broke a nail. Look at those dainty little hands. She's <laughs> all help she can get. Hands are hard, man. I mean, look at Colonel Sanders. It's, they're they're hard as fuck. <laughs> look how muscly those bastards are. <laughs> Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? Actually, how dare he? Ash is pretty cute. How dare he and he's be pretty nice, nice to, to anyone but me? Yeah. <laughs> how dare he be nice to anyone besides me? I'm the best. That's it, Colonel me. Sanders. I understand now. You're fucking Ashley because <laughs> you complimented her hand. I mean, you're not committed in a relationship with anyone, so you know if you're gonna do it, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's your life. Live how you want to live. By. <laughs> but what about the flavor of my delicate, warm? Gooey chocolate sauce. Ashley, come on. Oh, we she's gonna make to a, share that with anyone. We can't, we can't beat a chocolate lava cake, man. We're not gonna be able to do that. It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's what I'm going with. You didn't say it. That's was that was my line. I'm Mike. You I didn't say it. I decided what the line was. I'm saying it was. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, but Mike's was really good. <laughs> Excuse me, Mike. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. I was even though you didn't speak for anyone, evidently. I was speaking for her. I said that's what she said. <laughs> Man, Colonel Sanders, get, Got that, her. get that chicken grease out of your ears. Like, I know you like to bathe in it every night, but come on. It's, it's delicious. It's not good for your skin. I don't let it get up to my ears because it's not uh, good for the top hair. Yeah, ew, gross. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine arts of fine of women. Ah, uh, food, foods, fine foods. See you inside, Mike. I don't think he likes you right now. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I don't really like him that much anymore either. I'm very fickle like that. After the last night we spent at his evening house, you would I assume think... he has a day house and a morning house as well. Probably. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for whom you know she really is. Really, really fine. Yes, yes. Really, really. I mean, come on. Is, uh, you walk through the cro quad, 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 crap, uh, to get some distance. I mean, we only have peripheral information on Ashley. We don't really know what she's like, other than she's been kind of dickish the last couple days. And in an Ashley's to been kind of fucking mean. And considering she just tried to stab you with her fucking knife last time or whatever. Did she? I thought she was just okay, trying to. Okay, she offer wielded me a it knife. aggressively towards our direction. She didn't try and stab me, though. <laughs> uh, in an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by the interaction with Ashley. Uh, you take out the spell book you recover yesterday and start flipping through its pages. I become a wizard. Oh god, Jack says. Oh god, is Mike fighting for Charles Entertainment Cheese now? <laughs> I can't believe that's his full fucking name. What a rat. What a rat bastard. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. <laughs> the E stands for entertainment. That's great. Chuck or Charles Entertainment Cheese is his full name. I mean, it's fucking stupid, his and I hate Pizzoli or whatever the pizza guy who I know is responsible. His name embodies his work ethic. I approve. Did you know that during the pandemic, they uh, they 
were selling Chuck E. Cheese pizzas under, I think, Pizzoli's Pizzas, which is the character's name for the Italian chef that is one of the characters in the Chuck E. Cheese universe. Yeah, it wasn't it hasn't always been Pizzoli's Pizzas, though, like at their stores and whatnot? No, it's Chuck E. Cheese. It's just Chuck E. Cheese. It's the, that's how it is in there. But they were selling it as a store called Pizzoli's Pizza and not Chuck E. Cheese. So people were like, oh, this new place called Pizzoli's. Must be a you know small-time business. Let's give them our business. And they were literally giving it to Chuck E. Cheese. It had nothing to do with the Chuck E. Cheese branding or anything. It's Weird. like, you shady fucks. Whoa! Th- that's, that's that book. Looks like bad news. That's that book, or what's that book? Now you've got me thinking about pizza stuff. Well, I, I, don't, culinary school. I don't get it. Like, what so if they we were put just fried chicken on pizza? So they were just selling a pizza with a different name. They're still selling they the pizza. Selling, they were selling it under a false name in order to get people to buy it because they didn't want to buy from Chuck E. Cheese. Why didn't they want to buy from Chuck E. Cheese? Well, because nobody gets takeout from Chuck E. Cheese. Well, that's true, but I mean, <laughs> depends on the quality of the pizza. Like. Are you not allowed to put your name as a different pizza then? I mean, I assume when I'm buying a pizza or something, I'm buying it from the brand and not somebody pretending to be a different brand. But wasn't Pizzoli a character in Chuck E. Cheese anyways? Yeah, but I mean, unless you know the deep Chuck E. Cheese lore. I could have sworn last time I went there with my like cousins years ago, every, all the boxes didn't have Chuck E. Cheese on them. They literally said Pizzoli's on them. Like uh, maybe... They were like branding it. So to me, it's just like... Well, that's what I'm saying. Unless you know the Chuck E. Cheese lore. I don't know if I'd see it feel sly, but like, oh, I bought... This pizza sucked. I'm never going to buy it again. <laughs> like, well, like I, I think that was everyone's uh, idea, probably, when they got the pizza and ate it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Regardless of the I, fact. I wouldn't feel slighted. I'd be like, man, this pizza is shitty. What is it? Oh, it's made by the people who do Chuck E. Cheese. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that. They weren't being clear about it. Yeah, but I don't know. That wouldn't bother me. It seems deceptive. And it's, I guess and it's you're still selling a pizza. Now, if you said you were selling me a pizza and then it was a hamburger, I'd feel a little slighted. to be like, this is not what I ordered. It's clearly different. Anyways, that it's, checks out. it's just something that I found lying about. Uh, I would appear to be some sort of grimoire, uh, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. Chucky's full name is Charles Entertainment Cheese. A grimoire? We are saying that right, right? Because I've always said grimoire. Like almost like French, right, guys? Grim array. <laughs> Grim or iron. Grimace is uh, in this game. Oh shit, we better run. <laughs> that fucking chicken nugget looking soon, purple fuck. God, I mean, like the hamburger is gonna be here soon, and so is McDonald's. I don't wanna see him. Like a book of spells. I don't know. Uh, who, who would spend so much time decorating a magic book as if it, uh, if it were re- weren't really powerful? It's a fucking scrapbook. I can think of one surefire way to find out. We open it up, and there's just like chicken spells and things to turn people into roosters and or really bad cockatrices and uh, abyssal I think they're just called abyssal chickens yeah you open to a page covered with arcane warnings cast only in case of extreme emergency mm-hmm. it say says there. around the edges of the page I can use a spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. I had to start reading that to make sure you weren't fucking making that up. (laughs) That is way drastic. Couldn't you do something else, like uh, anything else not rooted in dark magic? Nope. Maybe tie a string around your finger? Nope, 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 nope. Nope, dark magic. Dark yeah. magic all the way. I'm okay. actually with Mike on this one. Okay, fine. It is dark. <coughs> it is drastic. But desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I mean, there's certain people in my past I definitely like to I erase. Forgot, I forgot what it looked like. That's right. <laughs> You've got a memory erasing spell sitting in front of you. And a pretty good excuse to try and find out. I mean, Sam's got the mouse, so he wants to click. <laughs> motherfucking Cast the spell. motherfucking do first it. phone Cast just said, look out for the dangerous, dangerous chicken. It's the poultry man, sir. <laughs> Do we make this a vote? You clever, you clever fuck. <laughs> uh, do we, yeah, do we, let's pull this one. Cast the forbidden spell. Jack, can you help us out with or that? Don't do it after all. I, th- I think Jack's setting up right now. Yeah. This, this, uh, so for those yeah, who don't it. know, this point in the, uh, this piano music, this piano rift, got us fucking copyright striked. So, can't wait to get copyright striked again for this song that is going on right now.
because they said, oh, I'm trying to talk over it, so hopefully it doesn't get popped. My, meanwhile, while we're waiting for the poll, but I assume it's going to be minutes and minutes of this stuff. Yeah. We got popped by uh, a company called AdRev Publishing. I'm pretty sure it was called. Hmm. Um, and they legit. said that this was a remix. So a now remix of what? Related I don't. Kenshin? I don't. They, it kind of. Yeah, it kind of does sound. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of some of those anime touching stories. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like generic anime mix that the you can buy from a company. You know, yeah. one of those ones where it's like this is stock music that anybody can use that purchases this. But they they said it was a different. They said it was a remix of something that was theirs. But I couldn't look it up unless I went to like copy and paste the name, go into YouTube, go into. I was like, no, 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 it's not. Fuck you. It's fucking not. So now we're sitting here in escrow for them to spend 30 days wasting away because the YouTube thing went, oh, this is a cover song. Mm. So, so what they're I can't wait to get popped on this one, too. We need to cover Metallica music and put with 8-bit tracks. So the thing is, totally even, be fine. even if it was a copyright thing, then we could replace it with something else or something if we if we had files that were separated. Yeah, Twitch doesn't But we do don't, it. and we yeah, you can't do that, so... Poll is, oh god, 50 50. 50 you guys. 50. Alright. Um, commit a war crime or don't use the spell. I'm what gonna... would Mike do? He did that. What do I pick? Well, I don't actually know. <laughs> he did. That's you. Oh. <laughs> you take your friend's advice to put the book away. Aww. It's almost time for class. I guess we didn't use the book. I guess we didn't use the book. I literally closed my eyes and just waved the mouse around and No, think about it though. The world didn't immediately end. So it's it might have been the correct choice. <laughs> Damn. No spell. Learn to work under difficult distractions. <laughs> Sprinkles is already in the room, waiting for your students to Mrs. arrive. Biggers. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. Book, book. I want all of you to know I feel something of a doggy moment coming in. Um, but I assure you, it's uh, that nothing, not to be afraid of. I thought it said dog movement, and I was just brought back instantly to our corgi, Zoe, who looks much like Mr. Sprinkles here had a lot of dog movements this week and ruined her crate. Twice. And we had well, to wash times. her a bunch of times. Four times. I think it was about four times. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to use clever language so that we, we don't have to say the, the D word. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry, reaching out for some old homework to give mm. him a snack. Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles. Wait and see what happens. Yeah, dogs, the, the, Mr. Sprinkles can be a little unpredictable. We failed twice in a row trying to appease Mr. Sprinkles. I'm just going to wait. Peace. Sprinkles stops in his tracks. He focuses on the window. The room is deadly silent. Oh, no, maybe we didn't read the book, and then, like, now we summoned a demon or something. That's great. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs to the, the fuck? Runs to the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably to the squirrel outside. <laughs> Terrence! Terrence! <laughs> I told you never to come back here, Terrence! I will destroy you, Terrence! <laughs> Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off his face. Oh, you ate my little bagel! I don't th I think it was a bagel. That's, that's, it was a just, bagel. You just said he ate his ass. Oh. <laughs> Not from the kids. <laughs> yeah, no, let's get, let's make this safe for work. <laughs> you, you ate the dumb bagel. <laughs> that should work in lip syncing. That yeah. should work, yeah. Totally. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who is named Terrence? Clearly, it's a Lucy. Mm. You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again. <laughs> ever again! You bastard. Piece of shit, little squirrel coming in here like some kind of mook. Some kind of nut hoarder. After Sprinkles is satisfied, that is, his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but Terrence. any other squirrel in hearing distance who probably just ignore him and went on their merry way, <laughs> gather their nuts. There's a fucking student who's a squirrel who's just like, Jesus Christ, this fucking teacher. I'm reporting him to the union. <laughs> he returns to his professional tone. Ahem. I apologize for the uh, outburst. Uh, this actually brings up an important point. Uh, thank you, Mike, for reminding me of the dole out this uh, indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, my brain went on a tangent because we were talking about swirlies earlier, which made me think of soft ice cream. 
like mm. the swirly ice cream. And then he said Dole. Now I can only think about is the Dole whips that they have at like Disney World and stuff, where it's like the pineapple ice cream. It's so delicious. I feel like that's a question, Jack, for another stream with how like dialogue heavy this one is. Um, uh, yeah, but... we can. Oh, how about this? Maybe after the stream, which we assume will be uh, yeah. not too long. We can, we can go over that. We, we Remi can talk about remind that. us, Jack, please. I, I will go over that. We'll go over that in a different detail after at the yeah. end. But before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over the class like a splooging. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't call mine love drama, but yeah. <laughs> whatever, Miriam, whatever you want to call it. Sprinkles is interrupted by words of sparking coming from the back of the room. Or, oh, no. Or nothing. It's the robot. I guess I'm gonna choose this. I don't know why it gives me a choice. <laughs> I told you to save it for after class. Wow. <laughs> this is a classroom. That kind of stuff <laughs> is for the bedroom. That's the or love drama. Out of sight, man. Called. Like, no, no zipping and zapping in the back of the classroom. <laughs> don't make me separate you two. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane, strapped to a stranger, a sexy, handsome stranger? Miriam and Clank seem to be arguing, but you don't really care, so you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of the mechanical noises. You're just gonna say beep bop boom. <laughs> I think Miriam's story with Clank is deserving of like a DLC. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but no! You had to show off to your cool friends, Jeff and Joanne, J and J forever. I've heard of this J and J. Maybe they know PB and J too. I'm more into S and M. Anyway, watch. Not me. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this. Mike doesn't want to be a part of this either. Don't put us into that triangle. S and M with Sam and Mike. Yeah. They make up the triangle. Yeah, they do. Oh with, god. With me. There's yeah, three no, of yeah. Us. Trifecta. <laughs> watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Perfect landing. I mean, apparently I went missing earlier today. I didn't even realize it. I just, yeah. I, I looked it on Twitter. It turns out it was not a cooler, Sam. Yeah, of course yeah. not. No. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Definitely not he hexagons, I think. Hectagonal. Uh, the ones that bees use. Sure. Hexagons. <laughs> Actually, I think that, I think hexagons octagons? are the best use of space. Or is it octagons that are best use of space? Eight sides are octagons. The strongest shape is hexagons whatever they... Hexagons are six-sided, right? Let me Hex, think. Hex is six. I'm Oct of... is octo. That's eight. Okay, I'm picturing Banjo Kazooie. How they drew. That's six. One, two, three, one. Yeah, it's definitely six. Yeah, that's a hexagon. That's a hexagon. An octagon is eight. Octo what is did eight. they use in the uh, the strongest form? I would think would be a shape, which would be what a circle, right? Didn't they use that in the aqua aqueducts in fucking uh, Romeland? I mean, Rome's aqueducts were usually arches that carried it like they like giant. Um, Wasn't that aqueducts. structurally sound though? Like based off. Well, of... the way that arches work is they dissipate the weight, so mm -hmm. it doesn't all kind of come into the center. So mm -hmm. it evenly distributes the weight on the sides of the um, arches and kind of gives a more even like um, thing, so it doesn't all bear down on one point like old bridges used to do. Yeah, it displaces the weight equally or. Appropriately. <laughs> Appropriately, yeah. Like, if I had a drawing, I could diagram it out. What up, George? I took architecture classes and also... That's why I was asking. Yeah. I was like, I bet this motherfucker knows. Yeah. Between like, art shapes and architecture? Yeah. That way all the, like... That way all the weight doesn't distribute straight to the middle. Mm -hmm. um, like, old bridges do. It kind of, pushes it kind of like, yeah. pushes it out and just, like, carries the weight throughout a little bit better. Well, That's why we still use them today. For well, the most yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that doesn't make it a great date. I mean, it makes an egg. A storyline date? Yeah. Clank really tried. Miriam. He's on fire. You know how hard it is to think of good dates? Like, come on. You keep things interesting all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pressure. You ever tried planning a date in a pandemic? Yeah. You ever tried dating in a pandemic? It's impossible. <laughs> it's improbable. Yeah, improbable is probably the better word. <laughs> we know it's possible. And it's ill-conceived. Yeah. Then take Jeff and Joanne with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain. Or off a cliff. I don't fucking care. That's just how they roll. <laughs> Sad beep. <laughs> Poor Clank. He tried to put her on and give her a really interesting date. Spent a ton of money to go skydiving. That shit ain't cheap for a first date. I, I, think, I think Pop Pop and Clank have the saddest stories in this entire game over... Over and only barely because it's for the memes. 
Uh, the ghost unnamed student. Uh, <laughs> that's it. It's, I mean, most people on first day just go to a coffee shop. Like, that's just like the chillest way to get to know somebody without like a lot of expectation. He took you skydiving. Mm -hmm. well, I'm ungrateful, Mira. Kind of questioning our friendship. I think it was probably tandem skydiving too. Like, yeah. <laughs> Cheapers. Which means she had to go with illegally, probably with a with a skydiving instructor. That's like fourth day <laughs> material. Why were you so close to him? I would die if I didn't. <laughs> Clank begins to shudder. Steam pours out of his gaps in his panels, and then this loud ding stops him in his tracks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You Whoa. killed him! Oh, I don't know what he was cooking, but I don't like it. <laughs> no wow. amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that clank. That poor robot. Oh. Is that oh, is phone? that a fucking foot? Oh, it's a shoe. Oh, I was seeing the back of the tongue or the, the heel as yeah. like a toe. No. You know, like, like a toenail as a dark spot. That's disgusting. Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Considering oh. that he himself has wheels and not feet, it is not entirely clear where this came from. Pop Pop's fucking dead, yo. That's okay. Pop Pop is fucking dead. It all ruse. I simply put foot in robot and then make my way to kitchen to voice <laughs> everyone. Clank has foot fetish. <laughs> in terms of deep fried footwear, it's pretty well evenly coated. You know, I think it turned out all right. I think it's, <laughs> An I think it's pretty good. An A plus on procedure. I mean, I wouldn't eat it, and I wouldn't give it to anyone else to eat. But you know what? Good job, Clank. Good job. I'm proud of you. He, that was a pretty even Don't coating cry. there, buddy. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. <laughs> Everyone oh, no, tries to pretend the shoe. like they didn't have or see or that entire thing go down. That was oh, kind of God. embarrassing, oh man. Nothing like a loud public breakup. Is it really a breakup? Like they went on one date. Most of the time you just go like, hey, it didn't work out. You know, I had a fun time, but I don't think it's gonna work. I, I actually think there's a lot of stuff probably behind the scenes that was just alluded to. Maybe. It was only one day though. It's just like I want. I want to stay in Clank and Miriam. There, there's there's be, <laughs> there's better ways to handle like hey you know I just don't think it's gonna work out. Just be honest with people you I, know. I, I think Miriam's kind be of truthful. A, kind of butthole. Yeah, she kind of is. You know, all all you had to say, Miriam, is just be kind and be like, hey, I had a really nice time, but you know, I don't think this is really gonna work out. And just let him down easy. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't be mean. He let you down real easy. He trusted a, another man to fucking skydive tandemly with you. Yeah, Jesus. He's out $600 well, no, actually, now. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, I was saying that because of how she was reacting. We actually didn't hear his side where he was accusatory. I might have to rescind everything, I said. I mean, fucking I Clank might be a dickhead. Clank could be. Who knows? But based on his bzzz and boop and bips, <laughs> I'm going to assume that he was in, you know, he's just trying to be a good guy. I mean, maybe he's a dick. I, I, I'm gonna hold my decision until further DLC is announced. Nothing like a plowed, plowed, I already said that. Plowed puss. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. I don't know why people think it's okay to uh, have these conversations of deep personal connections within my classroom and why they can't just wait till they're, I don't know. Squirrel. In their own, squirrel. <laughs> Anyways. Parents. That's the dog calling that couple, uh, I, I was trying to think of something that rhymes with black that would be clever and it didn't fucking land fast enough. I see you in the window over there, Terrence. I see you again. I'm gonna kill your family. Terrence. Kill you. I'm gonna send them to Lombardi Street. I don't know, but I'm gonna get him out of here. <laughs> this, would, this, would be a, this would be the place where I put a stuffed Terrence. <laughs> if I had one! But we mustn't be distracted Terrence from Berg. what lies ahead. The final... Competition showdown challenge a exam. It's pronounced exempt. -tum. Yeah, tum. exempt. -tum. I'm still working on the title, but uh, you get it. And that's the time approaches. Uh, see you on all the arenas. We're gonna fight. But before you can think of your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Is it pop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miriam. <coughs> You're not doing so hot, are you? You, you okay? You, you're kind of freaking out there. We got out of, let out of class early? <clears throat> Sorry, well, guys. We're all moving to the kitchen. 
Okay, so, uh, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa, cocoa, over, coca -coca -cocaine? The, over the floor. C -c cocaine Still need to watch that series. She, she was... Goddamn she, Metalocalypse. She was snorting a lot. How could he? Day. She's talking about that, that special spice the other day. <laughs> we're talking about Don Jr. or Mary? No, we're talking about Mary. <laughs> she was talking about that spice that she How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? You took the spices from the Dune Lord, didn't you? Oh, no. We should have done that. Special flow. Uh, her tiny cocoa, 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 cocoa. I don't know. Coca loca. Coca loca. Live in the Vita loca is a delicious treasure. So you know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is supposed to be safe for work, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Talking about her coca loca like that. That's true. Uh, this breakup is no joke. Even if the source of her frustration is just a silly boy. Well. He's like a robo -bo, bo boy but He's, he's okay. a robo -bo, bo yeah. I know that you know this, but I'm just gonna say it aloud. What up, Pat? You should have been a little bit nicer to a robot. Like, you really don't need anyone if you don't want to be with. Like, you don't need another person to complete your life, yo. And honestly, you could have been nice to a robot, and robot probably could have been, been nice, nice to, to you. you. But we don't, I mean, we don't know quite that. know because I don't know how the fuck to talk his language. Yeah. I mean, he did a double date. Just trying to make it less awkward. It takes two to make a bad relationship. Like, Janice and Jill were together. Like, what, what's wrong with that? Or oh, Janice and never mind. Was it Janice and Jill? Was it wow. Janice and Jill or Jason and Jill? Jason and Joan. JJ <laughs> was a couple probably, and you shouldn't be like all upset about that. Like, what's the problem? It's just a double date. It's just two friends. He wanted to introduce you to his friends. Like, Couple that seems in. like a big step up. But anyways, me and you, we're gonna cruise through this final test. I totally have a useless hand and whatnot, but I'm sure my other one is. Semi-functional. <laughs> I'll take you for your hands. Uh, this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Ha ha, I did it. I worded my way through the wisdom. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs. Very short bangs. <laughs> flutter, flutter. Flutter, flutter. But she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the <laughs> I'm, way. I'm a regular fucking Foley artist. <laughs> You're not gonna... <laughs> hey, Pat. You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion right off into the sunset without me? Miriam, I know you really like euphemisms, but uh, this is a PG game. You can't really go around using innuendos like that. Y'all making this too sexy. Especially with that face. What is that? That's basically porn. <laughs> it basically <laughs> is. Totally is. Obviously. Uh, of course not. Well, maybe, sort of. <laughs> but um anyways uh, i'm sure that there's a pony out there with your name on oh that is really <laughs> dirty i should not have said unless that. you're not into ponies that's whatever um i'm more of a there's ranch a guy myself for oh no that doesn't work either um there's a banana for oh you know what that's just even worse <laughs> you know anyways uh and a ranch big enough that's even worse. Somehow, I found a way to make it even dirtier. Anyways, Ranch both of us delicious. I and think whoever we can agree. else we want to bring along. Haha, <laughs> got him. Holy crap, Pat, dropping all those snowmacorns in there. Thanks Thank for you. all the snowmacorns. We'll ride those ponies. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you met today, tomorrow, or this whole year, <coughs> I mean, that would suck, but you know. I'm a little problem here, sorry guys. Some people have been in their houses for like a year now, and human contact has been kind of what is that like? Gone from all existence. It's almost <laughs> something that doesn't even exist. But so what? You're a special person with no prospects and no job, but you'll be fine. It, so it's, who, the simulation's breaking down. Yeah. Who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show up with a little interest in you anyhow? Ha -ha, yeah. Yeah. Now go my, ride that pony. My pep talks are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, ready for uh, pony time. Yeah, Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. Ha, <laughs> I what? didn't think I was gonna do that. Why do those tears look like they make an audible sound when you wipe them away? Like, <laughs> they are very, they're <laughs> thick, salty tears. Like I said, I'm the Foley boy. I should really review my menu for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some very special soup. Okay, Miriam, good job. It's gonna job. be made of people. I bet the professor is going to love it and hey, love it up. Kaiser dropped in a Mr. Sprinkles. Hey, Kaiser. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> and hey, Gab. There. What up, Gabby? While you prep talk, Miriam, you completely miss lunch. Like an idiot, because you were, I don't know, prepping? Sounds about sure. right, though. Oh, you were pep talking. Oh, you, you should have been prepping. You're in culinary school. It might behoove you. Ha, ha. Colonel Sanders' <laughs> horse prep. joke there. 
<laughs> but uh, that's okay. You uh, had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. Uh, you've decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish like an expert. This is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of <laughs> your will. The secret ingredient today is these four ingredients. A test of courage. A test of talent. A test of wit. A test of genius. A test of ferocity? I don't know. And a chance to beat the pants off Van Van. I mean, those pants are pretty tight. You're going to have to tug real hard to get them off. If you had dyslexia or something like that, it would be a chance to beat off the pants. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. For, I read it as that, and I was like, hold on, no. Hold up Go a back. Hold up a minute. Um, Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his evil counterpart, Ashley, is she evil, or is she just misunderstood? I mean, she I, might be evil. Mm, I'm thinking... But she's also thick. I'm thinking she got less than uh, honest intentions for you. I mean, are those uh -uh. Un like, are they pleasurable? Because maybe I'm down for it. I don't know. I'm curious who the hell uh, gaslighting this motherfucker up with these, with this kitchen here. Because I need them to come to my house See, and Kaiser get the understands. electric stove out of here. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been Bye, working on. Mike's famous chicken pot pie. Oh, this is gonna be gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kaiser knows. Uh, after practicing for months making this dish comes second nature to you, why would you learn to make a chicken pot pie? Like, <laughs> why did you decide to make one of the most meh foods of all time? Gifted a sub to Gabby. Thank you, Kaiser. That's 75 on the channel, then again, dude. If someone could really sell Super me, I bet, if, I bet if Lindsay made a chicken pot pie, I think it'd be as bomb as hell, though. Dude, chicken pot pie fucking rules. I, I, I've never had a good one. I feel what? like I need, like, Lindsay to make a good one or someone, like, I know that's a chef. Because every time I've had it, I'd be like, <clears throat> this chicken would be better without this. Which sucks because I would think that everything in that is like, this all sounds great. And I, then I've had it. And I, I, might, I might have to make two variations for pie day, which is yeah. the 14th of March this I, year. Because I've never had a good chicken pot pie. Every time I've had one, I'm like, this is meh. Why do people like this? After what, what was what was wrong with it? I'm I, very curious now because chicken pot pie is kind of like, as I understood it, universally loved. What was it, I don't know. Was it's, it too salty? Was it not enough chicken? Like what, I just had it. I was just was like, this is kind of like, gross. Like it's it just it didn't taste good and didn't like when I had the pie. I was just like, I could have just had apple pie. That would have been better. <laughs> it's definitely a different pie, man. <laughs> comparing apple pie to chicken pot pies, <laughs> it's like comparing pizza and hamburgers. I guess you can it is, want yeah. one, but it's they're drastically different. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad version of chicken pot pie. But I remember going to a restaurant and my dad's like, "Oh, you'll love this," and I had like, "This was awful." Uh, yeah. Why did I order no, this? No, I, I will say this: I wouldn't, I wouldn't order at a sit-down restaurant a chicken pot pie. A chicken pot pie is a very private meal that you cry into. I feel comfort. like it was a sizzler. I feel like sizzler let me down. Don't and go like, to sizzler and get a chicken pot it, pie. I think it, it changed my expectations of what a chicken pot pie right, is for the rest right, of my life. Right. I, Jen more minutes is watching. Jen more minutes. We're we're gonna make some we're gonna make some chicken pot pies pretty soon, aren't we? We're we're gonna. This is now. This is now a thing we have to now do. Now you have to prove to me that it's not a terrible dish. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I'll, I'm well, down for that. Uh, I'm I'm thinking I could do chicken pot pie hand pies. Okay, you know what's bothering me though? Oh, that's a reflection. I thought there was like a random handle right up here going on into this object, but it's just like a part of it that's like built into the wood pile. Oh, like those the... are those are the because you're in the middle of an area. Those are like yeah. structural beams. Yeah, no, I noticed the beams. But I meant the things that are on the sides with it. Where like they're the little. Oh, I yeah, see what you're saying. Yeah, they have a little yeah. reflection. That's like the, that's like kind of holding the glass. I was like up. that perspective is wrong. Yeah. Can you see how we're trying to make this hour go longer? Mm -hmm. After practicing for months making this dish come second nature to you. Uh, I've already read that. Your cram session begins, but it's interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Time to conduct business. Time to cram session with Colonel Sanders. Yeah, fucking stupid ass. Cram session. Dumbass class. Cram this fucking chicken. Break it. Cram that chicken down his throat. Mike, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Yeah, I don't have to talk to you. You I think you maybe need to study a little bit further. I think you need to study a little bit. Ready for a cram session? I think you're ready for a cram session. Oh! Oh, just, you know, taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success, thinking about success, breathing success, fostering success. I'm looking at my station and picturing <laughs> victory. <laughs> Jack says, cram Colonel Sanders <laughs> into a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The pot pie has begun to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Hmm. 
Uh, the pot pies at KFC are actually like for their price point. They're fine. They're fine. Yeah, yeah they're they're. I'd I'd order it if I really wanted. KFC a, is one of those if like I really places wanted that a, a, a pot yeah. pie. I think the place I would I would think pot pie. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to KFC or pot is pies. It? I don't know if they have pot pot pie. I imagine pot pies would probably have it though, right? I don't think they do. I figure like pot pies is just the Louisiana version of the Kentucky version of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like, hey, it's like the same kind of stuff, but different because it's got <clears throat> Louisiana flavor to it. I think they're I think they're drastically different. It's been a long time since I've been to KFC. My entire perception of both those restaurants are they both serve chicken. <laughs> That's it. And they both come in buckets. Checks out. <laughs> they both come in buckets. They both serve chicken. It's just different logos. One's orange, I, one's red. I actually don't think the... Uh, to tangent real quick. I actually don't think that uh, they come in buckets anywhere but KFC. I don't think so either. I don't think that's a church like thing. Believe, no, I don't yeah. think that's an El Pollo Loco. That, and I know that's drastically different. But I mean, that's a chicken one too. I do think, yeah. I think KFC's the bucket the is proprietary one. to KFC. I have a lot of. I mean, okay. We, we should probably continue. <laughs> Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. <laughs> You're delicious. I mean, oh! I'm delicious. <laughs> your forearms. You'd, ha you'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry. But the last time you let Colonel Sanders in get into your head, it cost you a cook up. <laughs> the so. last time you got onto Colonel Sanders' head. <laughs> uh, you decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires. That gorgeous, his forearms just change in perspective. It's, it's so mind-boggling. I'll stick it to you. Wait, what? His forearms are both massive and thin. It bends reality. <gasps> that decision. That's where all the black holes have been coming from. You've been dying into. It's hard to stick to when <gasps> the oven timer goes behind you. Ignore it like there's no sound at all. Clank, up and practice your dish. Clank personally takes this all as an uh, all to an offense that you're using his brethren and sisters. Yeah. Jack, do we make a poll for this one? I'm done with that. Jack, yeah. do you want to do a poll for this guy? Do we ignore it like there was no sound at all, ruining our dish? He did just kind of snub us earlier. So he, I mean, I'm I'm very much along the lines of. Nobody can be trusted in this yeah, game. Yeah, I'm saying ignore it like there's no sound at all. Like, he wants to steal my recipe. I don't trust him. Well, that wily eyed bastard. I, I think we should fess up. I think the other one is going to be like can't a, a significant uh, death for us. That Yosemite Sam of a charlatan? I don't trust that mustache. Mm, he's just a simple southern cook. That Kentucky accent's a lie. I bet you're not even from Kentucky. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. Damn it. I knew it. I don't know the differences between. I mean. All right, no poll. Uh, from what I'm seeing. No poll? So far. Well, I mean, I haven't I seen Jack say much beyond that, so. Yeah, oh, oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. What do now? What do now? Do we ignore it like there was no sound at all and keep flirting with the colonel? Or do we fess up about our practice dish? I think we tell him where to stick his chicken and shove it. Yeah. I think we make him into minced meat and serve him to his, uh... His stuffed chicken. <laughs> Serve him to a chicken? Serve him to his own chicken. Yeah. Get that cannibalism going on. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> <laughs> How the rooster has crowed. KFC's fine, guys. Like, I'd, I'd go there, willingly. I went there all the time when I was a kid. Um, it kind of makes me sickish now. Like, I can't even tell it, but I think their biscuits are fine. Like, I wouldn't go there and be like, you know where I want really good food? KFC. But if someone's like, <laughs> it is a fast food place. It's man. a fast food place. Like, but if someone's like, I have KFC, I'm like, yeah, sure, that's nostalgic. I, like, I, I love the people who are like, KFC, I can just go make that at home. It's like, yes, you can. It's a lot of work. But that's though. the point of fast food. Yeah. See, I don't have to. Yeah, but I can make better. Yeah, I would fucking hope so. The truth or something? That's <laughs> not an answer. Like, that's neither. Like, wait, which one's the truth? Fess up and practice your dish? Yeah. Wait, what? Three people voted. Well, fess up is the truth, because, yeah, we're fessing All right. up. Okay. I hate you, but you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. <laughs> I'm doing some visualizing myself. I know my nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards away at 450 to 425, depending on how you already pre-cooked the ingredients. That's oddly specific distance. <clears throat> No, that's just an oddly specific distance for an oddly weird man with weird forearms. 
You knew it was a pot pie just from the smell. I think right. I think actually most people should be able to tell it's a pie from the smell. Yes, yes, I mean, yes, cooked yes. pastry kind of has a smell about yes, it. It's a little odd. <laughs> Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. Yeah, you're weirding me out, Carl Sanders. <laughs> gotta use that butter. You gotta you gotta uh, you gotta like slice it in, mix it in, mince it in. What I forget what they call it when they when they do it with the crust, but it's delicious. And my nose is telling me something else. That you're lying. Is that me. a hint of rosemary? Oh no, it's burning. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> no, I can smell that it was made with a heap and helping of TH, TLC, TLC, definitely TLC. It was made from the channel? Yeah, <laughs> it was TLC. You mean the one that's right below Discovery Channel? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you no. sure? This was the band. Oh. TLC. <laughs> Wait, run DMC? I'm confused. Checks out. Sure. It's made from all of them. Wait, so run? So much talent put into a pot Run pie. TMC? We're talking about basketball now? Oh, God, I'm confused. <laughs> but I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. It'll probably start that bill. The moment of truth. Wow. Oh, wow. what was that flash? There's a flicker. There was a... <laughs> Tyler Durden, was that you? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's hey, the best baby. pot pie I've ever tasted. Why am I I've on always stick? loved country cooking and I could eat this all day, but then I'd get fat. Where does he put this? Where does he even put me? I don't want to know. Chris's answer was, you get fat? It gets really dark, and then like all of a sudden I'm gone, and pot then Pot pie makes you fat. Pot pie makes you fat? This, this old man, he carries me like a staff everywhere. I just noticed he actually has tears in his eye. Yeah. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the grand rules. There are no rules! What? Well, I mean, that is, uh, expect to cook with everything you got. All five ingredients. Stab, murdering, pilfering, the, those, slamming. Those cucumbers, those potatoes. Whacking. Those persimmons. Fucking green limes, I guess. Lemons and blue cucumbers. That's a uh, that's a heap of. Uh, those don't. Why are they blue? I, that, I don't. I think they're supposed to be eggplant. But why not, are those eggplants blue? To my knowledge, eggplants nothing, are not supposed to be blue. They're poison. There's nothing fucking eggplant in the KFC kitchen. I'll tell you that. Don't tell them. It it's surprise eggplant. It uh it nourishes body and soul and makes you rest for all eternity. What was that dish? That was a pot pie, Gabby. Yeah, that was a pot pie. You step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. That was a chicken pot pie. Did you said that mac and cheese plus the pot pie. You've been practicing or just the dishes. It'll push you over the edge to victory. But we didn't actually victory. see you do. Are you make that mac and cheese spicy? Mac and cheese is fucking boss. Look, she got her knife out again. She's threatening you. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are preparing wild, elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. I mean, her dish looked cool. Do they have a little oh, bit? I was gonna say, do they have a limited color spectrum on who they can, ha well, how many colors they can have on their characters? Oh, and hopefully no. it'll go back to Ashley real quick. Uh, because there was a charm that was flesh-toned uh, on her on her knife, and it made me a little scared. Nah, yeah, they just no, no, on Ashley, pink. not Miriam. No, I know, but I mean, it's like about the same pink, but they're just like, nah. Oh, Miriam's definitely a, a tanner color. Has Miriam? Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. What? She's definitely prepared to go big, going small. <laughs> I think she's trying to do like a kind of like a food food prep, you know, for yeah. taking pictures and stuff. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his eleven herbs and spices, oh. but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. It's his original recipe. R. <laughs> Fried chicken. <laughs> the intensity of the room starts at a full then up then with a frenzy of action. Not much more simple than uh, chicken pot pie, Gabby. Yeah, everyone is calling out really cool special cookie moves as they prepare their food. Wowie zowie, this wow. is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken. Hey, <laughs> you better batter it. What? As it levitates through the air. What? Woo! <laughs> I studied under Alakazam, the Pokemon, Egg Wash. Miriam furiously injects ingredients into a itty bitty pot of broth. Injects them? 
best friends, Bastard Blaster! This is getting hot. Fan Fan flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. What the fuck? Let's run, Roy! Ashley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula! Even Clint gets into it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. He's pissed. He's actually speaking English now. Wait. What? what, what? When did Clint learn to speak English? <laughs> After you have decided to kill me at prior events, I decided that it was I who needed to change and not you. It's a different tone than her skin, but yeah, it is kind of fleshy tone. Well, that's what I'm saying, like, they have limited color spectrums yeah. for what it was. It couldn't be anything else. Uh, it's the singularity, as was foretold. Nah, I mean, there's probably no, like, man rent, like mandates they probably just decide that was the color they wanted which is a little odd because yeah charm. maybe they wanted to make sure that it popped off these backgrounds because there's a lot of pink and all the rest of the art yeah we must let it happen or the appliances uprising will take all of us oh no not the other. i mean to self distract van van quickly unplugs clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena wait this motherfucker went skydiving with a plug yeah, where the fuck power. did he get like a 60,000 foot fucking block. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tides? Turns out I don't actually know how high skydiving is. You've got a book of your own and you desperately not, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we you might have to have a pull Almost for this one, Jack. Evil Maybe. magic? Oh, cast a spell or do it the hard way. What are we gonna do, Jack? This one's a poll. Are we lemons or are we limes? It's time for you guys to decide. Are we lemons or are we men? Dude, wait for <laughs> that poll. <laughs> wow, Colonel Sanders is really. Neither your tangelos. Really Colonel Sanders is just waving that chicken, just whacking it, just whacking it hard. Like. Yeah, you guys can't see this? He's whacking that chicken. Oh, man. Come he, on, Carl Sanders. He's pulling like, it. There are kids around here. What, what are you doing? I, I think what he's trying to do right now is get real deep under the skin. That chicken has feelings. The, the foul skin. The he didn't ask for skin, that. Foul skin. Foul skin. Get oh, underneath God. the foul skin. We can't and even really, put that. And really put that smeg, uh, spread of uh, butter underneath it. We can't even show that on TV. Well, even if we had a red banner trailer, wouldn't we couldn't show that. No, no, no. We have enough I red banners Mortal across Kombat the screen right gross. now. Colonel Sanders, what are you doing? <laughs> It looks like Ashley's like pissed off that somebody put the red banner over her face. She's like, what in the fuck is that? Even Ashley doesn't want to look and she's <laughs> obsessed with you. Like she's turning her eyes away. She's that disgusted. Guys is right. Making things extra crispy. Just, oh no, why? <laughs> why would you do that? The poll is up and it is almost over, oh, gang. Oh no, you're twisting the lake Which like that? Which way will we go? Will we cast a oh, spell? Do it the hard way. What will it be? Fan of White, tell us what we got. A bit late, but hey, everyone. What up, LJ? Do the magic now. <laughs> do it. Well, they told me to do, do it. Do the magic. Take out. You take out your own spell book <sighs> and let your instincts guide you to a page you've never seen before. It's called G A M E O V E R on page six six six. How to paint? And hey, LJ. What up, dude? It's uh, a summer. MS Paint. Yeah, it's a summoning spell that will conjure up a spork monster. That's a bad idea. Wait, wait, third day? Third monster? Sure. Now it seems like a good time is to add a little chaos to the mix. Well, I mean, honestly, my throat has been a little bit uh, gunky he, today. He's so a different spork monster, so do a different one. Change the voice up. You're right. I'll change it up. There will be slight tones that are different. But this will help me clear things out. You have seven me. Ah, the broom cooking arena. So many fond memories of battling in this space. Place in my old life. No, he's the same one. In your old life? I wasn't always the monster you see me before me. No. Once I was but a student like yourself who attended this school. Oh, oh no, it's the name students. Spork Monster notices the book you're holding. I see what's going on here. Things aren't going your way, huh? Been there, my friend. I try to cast a spell on myself to imbue my body with the powers of my favorite foods. It works stunningly. 
You eat sparks? You fucking weirdo. As you can imagine, things did not go as planned. With spells say, oh, they catch a case of emergency. They made it. Kind of in a pinch here. You got any better ideas? The spork monster <laughs> smile curls up. Curls. Curls up? <laughs> curls up. Curls up. Hey, curls up, everyone. <laughs> curls up. Mischievously. <laughs> For <Curl> starter. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I know you I was like, I gotta say it for anyone else. Burn up. Uh, For scary. starters, never cast spells on yourself. Cast them on your rivals. <laughs> Just tell me who is giving you trouble and we'll take a very good care of them. <laughs> you motion to Ashley before you can think of a better, uh, think better of this dastardly decision. He recites a spell that turns her into a sperm. <laughs> now she really is a thigh. She's only thighs. Now a mere bird, she flaps her wings and glides off into the produce section. All I don't I can, care what Ashley did, that fucked up. All I can see is Ashley's top half from like the thighs up, but with uh, Sarina the Pokemon with like the super long boot legs underneath just walking around. <laughs> okay, gotta go, bye! Wait, wait! Uh-oh. This could be dangerous. You immediately racked with guilt over this act of blatant transmogrification. Transmogrification. I'm gonna try and save Ashley. I feel like that's rude to just leave <laughs> Ashley as a chicken. Try I can't... to save her or do nothing. Ashley remains a chicken. You don't know what to do. I'll leave this one up to you. It would yeah. be poetic justice for Ashley to live at. No, it wouldn't. That's messed up. I don't care how mean she's been. Like, that's me That's beyond mean. It's fucked up. Gabby, I can answer your question about how Castling's Choice works on the Discord. Uh, oh my if, God. if you could post up on the uh, Patreon chat in in Discord. Um, yeah, Jack, that's a war crime. You can't just do that. <laughs> the, the Patreon information chat. Uh, just let me know when, and we can go over it further. Cool. You turn to the next page and cast a reverse spell. Chicken Ashley immediately transforms back into herself. Yeah, don't... <laughs> she's still in shock and still exhibiting some chicken-like <laughs> no, movements. No, she's still a cock. But uh, otherwise, she appears to be all right. <laughs> Ahem. <clears throat> is it just me or does the chicken seem remarkably fresh today? Right then you realize Colonel Santos waiting your entire sabotage. He's not impressed. <laughs> he wanted to eat her on both I mean, sides of her being a chicken or a human. You, you weren't impressed with him to begin with. You know what? I, I don't need you, Colonel Sanders. I don't need anyone. I'm my own person. Wherever I am. <laughs> I am my own person. Your heart's... I'm, I'll do my own... Musical album, even. Who knows? <laughs> People will love it. On a stage with the light. They won't hate me. Smoking, probably. It Maybe? won't sound like weird haikus and poetry. It'll be riffed off by the famous family guy. Yeah, and uh, but before that, the Animaniacs. And did they and do him too? They did it way before. <laughs> yeah, Family Damn. Guy did it. <laughs> That's what made that just like Family I mean, Guy's doing this. Like makes sense. Yeah, they they did it 15 years ago, man. Can I get when it was island? relevant? Can I get a kitchen island like that? That'd be nice. Yeah, your heart sinks as you can think of how much you might have disappointed him and ruined your chances for any kind of future together. <gasps> Having suffered through this huge setback, eh, I'll be over in about like <laughs> a day. It feels like KFC's like, are you sure you want to say fuck the Colonel and and keep going along your pathway towards independence? This is your third chance to say, Give Colonel, I out. surrender to you and kiss the ground you walk on. I'm summoning that extra power from deep within myself. Do I ain't it. giving up. Do it. I could do this. I have what it takes. He's a loser. I'm a winner. Your hair turns mac and cheese orangey as your culinary energy flows through your body. I thought it said your hair turned to mac and cheese, and I'm like, well, oh, I guess the spell book <laughs> went backwards on you. Her hair is delicious. <laughs> my heart is pure. My hands are steady. Well, one of my hands is steady. <laughs> my taste buds have been preparing their entire lives yeah, for. Yeah, the one's fucking broke. And, oh, like, no. you're the chosen one. You will avenge me. Why is he got jack o' lantern eyes? Uh, because. Uh, <laughs> Checks out. The power you'd been summoning immediately fades back out. <gasps> 
You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Get out of here, student. Eh, sorry. Nobody loves student of ghost number two. My heart is pure. My right hand is steady. My left hand is not steady. <laughs> my taste buds have been Vigorous preparing their entire, entire lives for this whole moment. I will show the world my cookery. Uh, that is a cookery. Chickeny? <laughs> Challenge me with chickeny? Ch ch chickeny? I don't know. <laughs> You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your whole body. Jesus Christ, we're going full super cooking. You know that with this power, you can do anything. Except, turn back time, which would be super cool, super useful. But um, because you were powering up, your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. Oh, you can serve it all right. Just kill anyone who doesn't like it. But don't worry, dear Mike. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. All right. <laughs> I've been watching you today, and I must say, I'm truly impressed. I don't care what you think. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. I don't want to hear your punches. No. He steps up to the station and stands right beside you. That's a little close. I'm here to help. I don't think I want your help. <laughs> he just pushes it into the <laughs> trash. There you go. Don't serve that to anyone. That was a fucking terrible mistake. You need to quit. All right, thanks, Ramsey. <laughs> and let me go show you the door. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese. And the time is almost up, so you're going to need it. Habanero, here we go. It's mac and cheese. If motherfuckers don't like it, then they're wrong. But Colonel Sanders is... Wait, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I, I follow my heart. All eight of them. Oh, God. I steal them. What? From, from chickens. A guy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most <laughs> delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. My tendies. <laughs> and besides. Wait, this is Colonel Sanders. Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> and besides, sometimes unexpected combinations or combos, one, two, two, seven, that are up on the menu right there, if you would want to order them, can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting? Yes, threesome. I mean, <clears throat> if we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. With Ashley? Oh, well, I mean, if she's a chicken. That's oh. kind of that's kind of my thing. Never Ch mind. Chickens. Y you go off to the corner. I named it after. I'll Kentucky go take Ashley. Fried then. chicken. Why, why did you think it would be different? What? What the hell, man? Thumbs up, students. Oh no! I should have fried him too. With time expired, it's uh, the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare your dish to present your dish yours. Handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. Seems uh we're missing uh some students. Uh. Pop is fucking dead. Pop. Pop. <laughs> Clank killed him. <laughs> and uh the Robo uh Clanker. Yeah, Clank. Mr. Clankington. Uh from off screen you hear pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. Hey, <laughs> 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 be flying. It sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. <laughs> Pop and Clank fucking with like seven minutes in heaven in the broom closet? Miriam, uh, would you mind, uh... <laughs> would you mind checking on your ex-boyfriend fucking the Russian child spy? Inside of the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastics of his underpants. What hey, the fuck? They think it planned, but me all smart all along. Bob, get down from right there, right now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? Oh, I'm actually sad that Pop 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 has big sad eyes. <laughs> and someone asked for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought wedgie would like sandwich. <laughs> it looked like Pop is uh, eliminated from the challenge, uh, seeing as how we didn't cook anything. <laughs> Fuck you, Pop, jeez. Also, that's the student. He's trying to sip your drink. Eat him quick. I can't feel legs. May I be excused? Oh, God. Sure. You kids and your pranks. It's like when they killed that student and stuffed him in the locker. Good times. Mm -hmm. But not like when I told him to. I told him to kill Terrence. And Terrence is still out there. I'm going to murder him. Do it. I must say, it's not worst prank of all. UCS, uh, AL history, but it's, uh, not exactly yearbook material either. I give it, like, a 4 out of 10. I think you could do better. 
Wait a second. Pranks. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what Planks. UCSAL stood for. Pranks. United Cooking School Click. Anal Licking. Where did the pressure cooker roll off to? Oh, no. You hear a signature whirl beep. Uh, an other onomatopoeia, but uh, there's no none. Hmm? Somehow, somehow, uh, he must have got unplugged, I guess. Uh, well, I'll figure it out later. Maybe not. I might forget. Maybe. It's okay. This is a robot. Uh, that leaves uh, four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yeah, it's been a long semester, and as I reflect... <laughs> Why does everyone got chunky tears? <laughs> I reflect on all of the magic that I have contained in this small body. Soon I will ascend to godhood through the magic of this testament book, and I will smite Terrence and his entire family. <laughs> Terrence will be so mad that I was mega dog. He will rule the day. He thought that, hey, this normal dog, but soon I will be Dogzilla and I will smash Terrence's home, <laughs> ripping the tree like a branch off a twig. Terrence. Wow. Terrence. Three whole days long. It's a pretty short semester. That would fucking sign me up. But after days of hard work, mostly by me, you're all lazy. You're all good for nothing. I can't stand any of the sight of any of you. But the time has come for me to eat. Which was the whole point of this whole charade. You do not graduate, I just got free food. Hi! Can you imagine the final at <laughs> cooking school? Just Took being like... your version of a Thanksgiving dinner yeah. as the teacher. <laughs> Miriam, please step forward. Now, describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup. Look at this. The, the tiny little palm pieces. That's cute and all, Miriam. But that's it, not going to satiate you, anybody. You drink it like a shot. Why couldn't you make it like a... Favorite part of an udon noodle soup. On Leap. three, from one of those one of those parts in there. There's multiple parts. You see like the little pieces and the stuff chicken? like that. No, no, no. On three. What is it? One, two, three. The little spirally... Well, you didn't fucking play. I didn't know what, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what your boy was. I was like, the chicken. I think that's chicken. The little spirally bit. The little north of the chicken. I'm trying to remember what that tastes like. It tastes like uh, like fish. Uh, yeah, it's good. You didn't play. You didn't play. <laughs> you I, didn't play. I didn't know the things. I was like, do I go for the leek? Actually, I always think those uh, little circle pieces could either be kelp, or which I've never had kelp in udon. Uh, onion with green onion big, big slices. Green onion? I don't know. It's so, it's, so, it's got to be green onion. Look how tiny all yeah, this is. Yeah, but look how big it is. No green onion is that fucking thick. Yeah. That's true. It's good. That's why I think a leak or something, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe. The woods is uh, it's so delicate, so teeny, tiny, Naruto Maki. It's by floating in its itsy bitsy bully woolly. Yeah, fish cake shit. Yeah. Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. <laughs> chef is my father's <laughs> name. Now uh, that you are not a student. Uh, Yes, Sprinkles. Um, and some green tea made from uh, baby tea leaves that I uh, picked myself. They're they're veal tea leaves. Okay. I picked them when they were the most susceptible to being picked. It makes them tender and super able to absorb all the water out there, so we can just fucking pull the nutrients from them. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of just his the tip. pink. Dog tongue dip into the bowl. KFC did this, not us. Sublime. I didn't even make up words for that one. <laughs> Sublime. Sublimey. Uh, Sublime. Would, Sub would, sublime. Sublima. Uh, would anyone else like a taste? Sublime A. Oh, come on. I'm not one of those doggies that don't floss. I even yeah. have a you cute little electric toothbrush uh, for dogs. Fine. I'll enjoy it all by myself. <laughs> My was like, uh. <laughs> and in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was bites. less than a thimble worth of soup. <laughs> a plus. Rarely do I have a dish that has this much love poured into it. Maybe I, something I, else. I honestly didn't even think he tasted it, but okay. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a big hug. <gasps> Thank you, Mike, for helping me in, uh, to believe in myself. Sure, Miriam. Bend, bend, you up. <laughs> Bow. 
Now describe uh, your dish. I made uni over smooth egg custard in a X hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. Too fucking fancy, you fail. I don't. How would you eat that? Like, are those spikes in you, there? You would. Uh, I don't know what's in there. That's probably pine what needles. Are those? those are actually probably. Mm, I would say pine or something to kind of maybe counteract some of the flavors. I have no idea. But I've never seen anyone actually put pine needles in something. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second? Oh no, we were talking about the different spines, not the different sea urchin spines. Different colored <laughs> type of urchin? We know what the fuck sea urchin spines are yeah, like. Yeah, we're talking about the green, <laughs> we're talking about the, green we're talking ones. We're talking about the green ones in there. They're coming out of the thing, I was like, yeah. why are there extra spines? <laughs> yes, yeah, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? Yeah. That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is on my brand. Doesn't it look uh, cool? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Vivian. Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Gross. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Jumping on his nose. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in. Tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles in your real crackish <laughs> tongue as he's poked and pro I'd say. Woof! <laughs> tongue! <laughs> they made that just for this gag. They made that animation, well, that, that picture, just for this gag from yep. Mr. Sprinkles. My professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. Jesus, well, man, yeah! Competition over. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, Van Van. A sunny turn of events. Who would have ever thought that serving a food in a bowl made with needles could be difficult to eat? Hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't be me. <laughs> Dejected, Van Van does Did not, not go gently into, into the that night. night. <laughs> Disqualified for glamour? Don't recount the temple penalty. Yup. This isn't the last you heard of me. DLC. Before forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, I read that right, right? Before, Before forcing, forcing us to endure, endure his swollen, swollen tongue, tongue for another moment, moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. He's a cat. He's a cat in disguise. Wait, this corgi says it's a dog. It's a cat in disguise. Checks out. That's it. It's a cat. I'm suing you, KFC. I know. I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. I had a cousin who did it once too. They were shelty. They're, they're another herding dog. They, <laughs> I mean, she loved milk. She drank it all the time. So get over it. Sometimes it helps her calm my agitated tongue. She was lactose and, and doggerant. Uh, next student, Ashley, is uh, up the, coming up the steps. Now, describe it your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. Damn, that's pretty. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be display piece. I mean, she can get into culinary displays then, I guess. Uh, no. No. Why not? Because I make those without food. They That's make true. those out of not food. Yeah. For the for sole purpose of making them a stable display. Yeah, I mean, she can get to that, though. She seems to really have an eye for she, it. Prop master. Don't yeah. eat the food at a cooking school. That is a little <laughs> bit of a... It's kind of conundrum. Yeah, uh, got toast in your ears or something? Mike, I told you. It's a display piece. Ashley, I must say, this is uh, beautiful, but uh, this is a cooking competition. A cooking school kind of have to partake in its taste. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. It's called cooking school, not eating school. She has something of a point. Uh, it's not the right one, but it's, uh, it is a point. No, LJ, no. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating, school for the hungry. I mean, that sounds like a great school to go to. Can I fucking Can sign I join? Up? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd go there. 
I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted. But don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, then it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. What the fuck? Rage overtakes Ashley as she screams, What the fuck? <laughs> and she slams. She finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. Oh, just You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you, dog! And with that, Ashley storms off as she hacks open the door yeah, instead of pushing it open fucking like a normal Mr. person. Sprinkles was a good fucking teacher off to rededicate just, herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by the fake nice routine like everyone. Yeah, you be yourself, Ashley. I mean, you might be a terribly human being, but those thick lives probably save some lives, so you know. Just, you know. This isn't the last you've heard of me, either. DLC? 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 I'm fucking calling it now. They're making a DLC. If this glass uh, gets any smaller, I'll be teaching myself ugly last days, so, you know, who cares? <clears throat> you and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Two chefs. <gasps> that ain't right. Disqualified. Unprecedented. Two chefs, no sprinkles. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese ended up as a delicious bowl of, well, mac and cheese. That looks incredible. Has become something else. Well, I mean, it's wait, just did I just cheese. finish up the thought process of your internal monologue? That's because uh, I'm the colonel. It's the it's the fucking like big bowl, stuffed bowl, or whatever the fuck they call I've it. I've never eaten that. The loaded bowl. <laughs> Is it called. any good? I don't know. I mean, probably. I've never been a big fan of their mac and cheese, honestly. Like I, I like mac and cheese. Man, I don't it's like theirs. mac and cheese, fried chicken, cheese, and potatoes. Yeah, but I don't like their like, mac and cheese. It's gotta be good though. Yeah, but their mac and cheese is gross. Like I've never really? had. I, I don't like it at all. I, I like, like mac it. and cheese. I like it. I can't stand their mac. This and is cheese. one of the KFC famous bowls. That's what they call them. Yeah. I've never had one, um, but with my trash sens sensibilities, I do think I would enjoy it. I think I'd enjoy this if I made it. I don't. <laughs> I don't like. I like the concept. I just don't. I've never liked their mac and cheese. Every time I've gotten like, it's got this weird non-cheese flavor to it. I don't know what it is. Okay, okay. He, uh, it's like how you feel about cilantro. No, I don't think it's anywhere near that, but I, I think I understand what you're saying. It doesn't feel like what I'm eating is what I'm being presented with. They're like, this is mac and cheese. I'm like, no, it's not. Okay, yeah. Uh, he examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing out the bowl. Well, apparently I've dropped our sponsorship from KFC. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> you should have came up to us earlier. Unlike uh, the other sponsorship that we're dealing with right now and maybe maybe finalizing. Uh oh. I uh, don't have a good feeling about this. From uh, somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. <gasps> Pop? I thought you left. <laughs> it also my second the job. I drum roll person. Just when I thought I'd seen everything in the kitchen, you give me this. This thing. You present this before my father and my mother's ghost? Mm. You come yeah. today on, on the, the day, day of, the cooking exam. <laughs> of the cooking exam to show me this, this dish, this this crazy amalgamation of cooking things. You think this is acceptable? You <laughs> this think this Chernobyl is of chewy foods. <laughs> it completely blow me away and my 49 dog is a life That's I've like never tasted. <laughs> anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. Maybe I'll serve at my daughter's wedding. I don't know. I don't it's know. so delicious, in fact, Everyone passes this class. Everyone? You just failed like four people. Then you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass, and <laughs> you get a pass. a pass. Everyone gets passes. Good luck playing taxes on Except this. that couch. And that guy named Tom over there. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he ruined my couch. I'd Shoot actually, I think I would actually choose the KFC macaroni and cheese over their mashed potatoes because their mashed potatoes are thin as fuck and nasty. The only thing that makes their mashed potatoes is good the gravy. is the goddamn gravy. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Their mashed That's potatoes it. are great. Sorry, Holmes. Their mashed potatoes are thin and terrible. They're not very good. Boxed yeah. mashed potatoes are better than their mashed potatoes. They're way better. What than makes that. it is the gravy. Yeah, their gravy's good. Hell yeah. Heart gravy? stopping, thickening of all my uh, uh, amalgamation. 
Anyways, everyone gathers and partakes in the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem transcend this reality into another dimension. Uh, you win. I did win. I'm won. the best. You shove Colonel Sanders in the fire. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Fucking kill him. <laughs> Slit his throat. I'm the king of the chicken now. I me did this. with me. my eleven herbs and spices. Ah oh, shit! I should have gotten that information from him. I forgot to seduce him and everything. Damn it. Well, there is the replay button. Nope. Together, you... That's, that's the fast-forward button, technically. I mean, replays the game, <laughs> Yeah. fast-forwards, whatever. I made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even Van Van and Ashley are drawn Get back in by brought back to life. magnetic fragrance. Eh, except for me. The foie gras. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Yeah, who would have ever thought of putting mac and cheese in a bowl? I don't know if I've seen Van Van cry yet. He got long tears. He does have long tears. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. You just said they failed. What the fuck? I mean... What the fuck, Mr. Sprinkles? Suppose... Has some dignity about you. Yeah, supposed to be more battles, but, uh... Come I on know now. you shit out in the yard, in the quad, but... Come on, man, have some dignity. I can't help it. There was, um... I have no excuse. <laughs> I'm a dog. The fuck do you want? I do dog things. Um, now that school year is complete, everyone has graduated. The students return for one last assignment. Kick that groove on! Oh god, we're gonna copyright strike for the song too, won't we? The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance compared to the massive high-tech cooking area. <laughs> Can't wait arena. to go dance with my fucking friends and, and students in a cafeteria. Look at that fancy ass Although chandelier. Although I guess we did dance in the gym in our school, so fuck. Yeah, what are you gonna yeah. do? The I mean... It doesn't check out. Yeah, whatever. The humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. What? DJ Doggy in the house! Woo! <laughs> oh, woo, 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 woo! You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? I've never seen that order of words and letters put together right there like that. Who would say you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I mean, oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Was there no fucking uh, dress code for this dance? Damn. God damn, y'all. Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they're committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were villains. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. Step one is, yeah. That's a really evil smile. <laughs> does Ashley just cut out hearts in all of her shirts? She does. Also, those, the shorts are a little high there, Ashley. Yeah. Got um, pockets popping out. Also, Van Van. That's a lot of buttons where, for pants, where too. Where the dick? Where the dick, homie? Oh, that's right there. It's really small. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> where, where the nips? Why do you have excessive... Yeah. What are, what are those? Not traps, but I d the, the under traps? What are those called? I demand a nip slip. <laughs> Clearly, his nipple has been removed, and I don't approve of this. What is the underside of a trap? Just like <laughs> trumps? Uh, I can't no, remember. No, yeah, fuck him then. I learned all the muscles, and then I forgot them all, because I'm like, I just know how to draw them. <laughs> For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. Eh. Oh, no. No ghost a lot at graduation. It's clearly written in the school bylaws. I was never a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Eh. You didn't change. You came to the dance after all this, and you still didn't change. Oh. Well, I mean, he changed from a, a kid to a ghost to a ghost to a kid again, but you still didn't change out of your your chef outfit? How amuse. Now that everyone's together. Oh, God. It's the Spork Monster. He's totally mellowed out. His oh, voice okay. is probably, you He's know, easier way more now. chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name. Party monster in the house! Ooh. Take off those shirts. I mean, don't. It's a PG game. <laughs> Here's so. some beads. Students try to finish what he had to say. Students, wait. Student tries to finish what he had to say. My brain. But everyone is too wrapped up in talking to Sporky. Uh, sorry. Uh, party monster? Party monster. In Dejected. The Student walks off. All oh, right. We never did learn his name. That's a cute outfit, Miriam. Uh, maybe, like, very 80s or 70s, I don't know. That I can't tell fashion. It's maybe things up. didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know what? She's gonna do great. She's gonna do great. She's gonna be fine. Uh... It's just like the future flashback. Miriam decided to start Church's Chickens. Church's Chickens, uh, Church's Chickens was an immediate competitor to KFC in the, in the, in the, 
And the problems that they had between them lasted for decades. Perfection. Uh, a red carpet rolls out across the floor of the ballroom. It's like Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? <gasps> it's Pop! And he's arrived late to dance, uh, but apparently for good reason. I was, filling, I was filling juice box with vodka. <laughs> I was on my way to inform uh, KGB masters of the uh, failed coup that was supposed to happen at this new school nearby, <laughs> but... Uh, Look, they gave me crown. It is definitely not a listening device. I found this uh, rug and I decided to roll it out and apparently this is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef hat. A crown? Uh, what? what, what? Welcome back, Pop. Uh, I know you weren't able to complete the final exam except your diploma. But evidently everyone got a pass anyway. Fuck it. So we were ma uh, we mailed it directly to your father. Uh, <laughs> we figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. There's a guy named Dean here? Yeah. I went to, his, I went to high school with a guy named Dean. He was probably kind of, the school's dean. He's kind of a little bit of a dick, but, you know, <laughs> that's another story. Oh! Huh. Ah, I get it. And we, uh, new wing on the school, not to mention the honorific uh, to educator, the son of the uh, chancellor of such and such. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did Pop get let back in because his dad fucking donated a bunch of the school so they can get a new wing called the, the such and such wing? He's dead prime minister of KGB. <laughs> That you, stands you put for a wing in culinary school and I won't kill you. That stands for Kentucky Fried Gambling Bastion. This, this will be the Borscht Wing. <laughs> the music of the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank, who has arrived late to the dance. You think with somebody with a fucking clock for an eye, he'd be on time. Now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank. I am not of this earth. I am actually... You fucking... You capitalize the E on Earth, you son of a bitch. I am actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? Uh, God, what? Goddamn Calcor. They can name the new wing after uh, Colonel Sanders. You know, they can call it the chicken wing. Fuck you, Calcor. <laughs> Smart bastard. <laughs> I actually feel like I, I knew it does this whole time. <laughs> now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? He's down on one, uh, one leg. One, yeah, thing. Because <laughs> ovens have legs, too. I don't know what to say. Besides, uh, no, obviously. Oh. I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. I think he knows who he is. He's an alien from another planet. I mean, but okay. Yeah, you just said it. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. I mean, I still feel like she has a lot of room to grow up, but don't we all? We all have a lot to learn in life. It's pretty clear she's managed to surpass you in that regard. Don't wow. we all? Don't we all? That's a, that's a deep cut brain. Don't what we the all? hell? Don't we all? I understand. Kind of. Humans are weird. Yes. Guess also, they are. I can cry as a robotic being, and I'm away! Portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives and he's just chucking blossoms at people. I'm just I'm fucking still reeling out of Calc Ops. Fucking clever. Clever, clever. I thought fun. he wasn't wearing pants for a second. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this kid's very awesome. dressed down. What the fuck? Yeah. Also, is your hair bluer now? What also, the hell? he has a pen pocket now. No, it's just well, the... that's that's in case he comes up at the twelfth Urban Spice. <laughs> Howdy, classmates. Just like that, the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. I mean, that's the best Two part about KFC, KFC. So you know, this time it's a full-on meal. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken yeah, at the end of vampire. a three stream long stream. Yeah. The end? The end? DLC. 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 No, it's not the end. Fuck! Does everyone feast on the delicious chicken dinner? Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. <laughs> 
Mark, what are you doing sitting all alone? I mean, my chicken, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> my spine is partially broken by me standing like this. Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance, which was gonna be the robot, but you nope. went to another dimension. Nope, nope, I thought uh, you're, yeah. you're almost there. No. Would you, if you don't want to do the robot, would you like to come out on the dance floor and do the chicken with me? Uh, I'm, not a fan. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that dance. Okay, never mind then. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Uh, so I, mean, I don't know. Spicy musk, tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy of Learning. Just to name a few. Tidy, no, wait. A tidy goatee? That's That motherfucker barely even goes past his chin. Yeah, that's not much of a goatee. See, you don't qualify. I'm sorry, Colonel Sanders. You failed this game. It truly is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Do the chicken? I don't even get to say no. This game's <laughs> bogus. This is a this is a cock of shit. It'd be I croc, don't it'd be agree. Crock, but it's a chicken because I did not say <laughs> yes. As you glide across the crons, the crons, a crons, the dance floor. As you glide croissant across the da dance floor, <laughs> hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. <laughs> like legs on a chicken. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off. And I'll be glad to spend it together with you, Mike. But not until then, because you are not worth it. You think I'm going to wait for you? 11 herbs I'm and spices, in 100 franchises, one wife. Have you seen me? Come on. I'm not waiting. I'm going to go find someone else. <laughs> We're just so long as you're there when the hundred one comes out, because that's a lot of buckets. What? What do you mean, work? I don't want to work. I don't like this guy. What? Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. I, oh, work together? Well, um, I think this is something I just need to do by myself. Wow. <laughs> Since you can see it, fuck. <laughs> I'm worth it. So you don't want my help to even run your restaurants? You really don't know how to court anybody, do you? I don't believe I need help. I'm the Colonel of Santa's. Besides, based on your time at school here, how shitty it was and how much you burned pies I flip and stuff, this TV. do you this really think running restaurants is the best pass forward? Well, what? For you anyway. Me, I, obviously it is. What an absolute tool. <laughs> Now do you want to dance? <laughs> yeah, sure. You just insulted everything in my being and everything I care about. But yeah, sure. I totally want to be you around you right now. You found a love connection but failed to earn his respect. Motherfucker, that's not love then. That's not, no, that's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> you need to have respect before you can have love. That's what a, the fuck? Yeah, you need to respect that other person. What the actual Also, hell? KFC, if you pay me, I will totally shill for your fucking chicken bucket shit. Can you live with only half of him? No! <laughs> That's a doomed relationship. Well, half a kernel is still like eight inches. Relationships are really hard as it is, and then you're like, well, he doesn't respect me. Obviously, I should be with him. No, if someone doesn't respect you, <laughs> do not be with them. But it's the kernel. Or with any, I don't care who it is. Even <laughs> Brad Pitt, if they don't respect you, don't be with them. Brad Pitt doesn't provide chicken. That's true. But still, if they don't respect you, don't be in a relationship with that person. I don't care who it is. What if they're an entrepreneur? Doesn't matter. Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? He can be an entrepreneur and care about that, but if he doesn't respect me, he can go to hell. <laughs> I suppose I could enroll in pastry school, or you know what? I suppose I, that based off of what I, your ideas are, I, 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 I could this, uh, I could fucking be a lesser person. I have these two birds right here, and I, I, I'm showing them. How, how <laughs> the does, double how do these cocks. Look? How, how do these look? Mm, they're, they're right I in I think your face. I could understand how to put them together into a bucket. We'll yeah. call it the number two. Oh my dear Mike, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. I want to slap the shit out Somehow, of Mike. Somehow, that place may be in the trash can, but... I want to get a giant mm, rubber chicken and just beat the shit out of this I guy. I own all of them and make a profit with each. I'm going to take a make. dead chicken and chuck it at your face. A dead chicken I can use in the kitchen. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. I don't want you by I'll, my side. I'll be by your side, but slightly up and above you, talking down you towards you. You just want you. me in your shadow. You want me as a trophy partner yeah, oh mean, no 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 just no. to show you off a little bit i have more respect for myself look, good look who i got to follow me the end fuck this game <laughs> the end question mark dlc 
You did not make Colonel Sanders look good in this game, KFC. You did not. <laughs> KFC are. What a terrible human being. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they called a psyop. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That was uh, Colonel Sanders finger licking good time. I hope everyone. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good time dating Sim. I had a good time. I hope all of you had a good time. <laughs> I guess the next session after this video plays again, we'll talk about the Nintendo thing for a little bit. We can. Uh, I, I can go talk about the Nintendo thing on Discord since it seems very off topic. That's true. But if we're if we're still here, I would I would uh, go on a text onto that so we didn't forget about it. Yeah. And also I can go over and discuss the uh, uh, Couchling's Choice with you guys there. Yeah. Uh, my quick opinion is... What up? It was, uh, it was uh, fine. Ch chin... God damn it, I'm going to get it. Chin Goose? Chin Goose. Chin Goose? Yeah. Secret ending. If you choose a specific choice, you adopted the spark monster at the end. That's a secret, <laughs> secret ending. ending. Well, without knowing that... Yeah. You guys can go look that one up on your own. Yeah, this was our playthrough, <laughs> and this is my mind that Colonel Sanders is a tool, and no one should want to be with him until he learns to grow up and treat people with respect. Eleven herbs and spices was not enough to earn anything other than a substantial amount of cash. Oh, man, look at that smug bastard. He is a pretty smug bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll see you guys on Discord after yeah, this. Take care. We can, we can discuss the Nintendo stuff because I didn't personally watch it. So uh, oh, I watched that, it. Yeah. That would be a that would have to be a full discussion. Yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm thinking it's fine. It was alright. I I do think I know what we're gonna be playing next. It's uh, I don't. Ooh, it'll be announced soon for next Sunday. Oh. Um, it'll be something that I if we plan it out correctly. I think it could be a thing that we got a uh, free code for, uh, but we'll but we'll see. But we'll see. We might save it it's for Colonel Let's Sanders play. DLC. I knew it. Got we, it. We might save it for a Let's Play. We might save it for a stream. We'll have to discuss it. But uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you all for being here. Wear your masks. Stay safe. Be yep. careful. Wash your fucking hands. Yeah. Eat chicken. Eat chicken. Then lick your hands. Make sure they were washed prior. <laughs> yeah. Wash your hands. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good weekend. Bye -bye. Had, a good, had a good weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Beep, bop, boop. <laughs>